Earlier this week, the White Earth Nation held their inauguration ceremony to swear in their new District 3 representative, Laura Lee Erickson, as well as Tribal Chairman Michael Fairbanks, taking an oath of office for a second four-year term. Fairbanks spoke before a large crowd at the Shooting Star Casino in Minoman and talked about the successes of the tribe's new cannabis business that recently opened up, creating over 50 new jobs for the tribe, as well as the progress made with the White Earth Forest land transfer and the Tamarack National Refuge. Fairbanks wanted to make a point that he wants all members of White Earth to have a voice in the matter. But I want to hear from all of you. I can't make that decision. Every time I go in those meetings, they ask me if I'm a yes or no. I say no. I have to hear from my people before I make a decision. That's in my book that I know that every voice in this room counts. I want you to have the information to make those decisions. So please reach out to our delegations. As Erickson took the stage to be sworn in and address the crowd, she discussed wanting to strengthen educational and cultural programs while improving their health care system and battling the opioid crisis. But over everything, she said she is looking forward to working with the different tribal and community leaders. You know, it's easy to identify what is wrong, but we have to remain positive as well so we can keep doing what's right and work together to find solutions what isn't working. Together we're resilient, we're resourceful people, and together we can overcome any challenge. Chairman Fairbanks also expressed excitement for Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan, who is a White Earth member and would become the first female Indigenous governor in the entire country should Governor Tim Walls become Vice President. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.